And we are back with part two of the best restaurants in Northville. And in this video, we're gonna be covering whenever I'm craving something very specific, the restaurant that we wanna to go to there. And in the next and last video, we're gonna cover where to go when you have a babysitter and you're feeling a little fancy. Subscribe to the channel, be notified when the last video goes up and any of our additional videos. My name is Mike Perna. I'm a local real estate agent and I've been helping people just like you find their next home or sell their current home in Northville and the surrounding areas for over 20 years. If you're new to the channel, subscribe as well because we go over all kinds of things like what's happening around Metro Detroit every month, the real estate market, and videos on communities we love and love to serve. Cravings. Okay, I think everybody has them when it comes to food and if you're like me, you're looking for like the best places to satisfy them when they come up and without further ado, I'm talking about the first one which is ice cream and food. And that means Guernsey's. Ice cream and food and honestly guys, that means Guernsey's, right? Having grown up here, I actually don't remember a summer that we didn't pop through Guernsey's as kids at least once a summer. And when I say once a summer, I mean like once a week. Guernsey's is a third generation creamery with more than a dozen family members currently working there. I mean like right now, a dozen family members. Started in 1940, it's expanded its lineup to not just milk, which is where it started, but milk, ice cream, fudge, caramel, and an Eden restaurant. Now that we're over 80 years in, they went through a pretty cool remodel recently, and it makes it feel like it's kind of like that soda shop from Back to the Future, like that kind of vibe. And we've all seen Back to the Future, right? If not, go see Back to the Future. I mean, come on. It's a classic. All these years later, I still love going here, and they do a great job at Detroit-style pizza. They've got a great burger, and I have no idea what's in that secret sauce on the burger, but one thing I would recommend is adding a fried egg to it. I tried it both with and without, and trust me on that one, it's a travesty to have it without an egg. It really is. But what I crave here is the ice cream, and it's always the ice cream. Get a cone for here and get like six pints for home. Now, if you're feeling extra sugary, go for the cinnamon roll or the cotton candy ice cream. Personally, I like the peanut butter and cookie dough ice cream. That's my just go-to. Next up, Northville Wine and Brewing Company. If I'm looking to be outside, have a glass of local made beer or wine, listen to music and get some food, this one literally checks all the boxes. This place is right next to Parmenters and the spring and summer they bring in live music and have theme nights like Dead at the Winery, which is a night of Grateful Dead music. That's not too much of a stretch, right? This one's so popular, they actually have it a couple of times throughout the summer. And they have live music almost every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And on the food side, this isn't really a restaurant. Like technically, they don't really have a kitchen, but what they do have is a parade of food trucks that come in, and it's a wide range. I mean, scope out their website, it's pretty cool. If you're feeling barbecue, Slow's the go, and this is the same Slow's truck that's at Art Beats and Eats that has the big line at it, you can find it here. Endless possibilities, which I really just really love the plan words. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I gotta go just because of the name of it, right? In addition to that, they bring in food trucks like Whoa Taco, Reno's Hot Dogs, Brava Empanada, and Simply Spanish, just to name a few. Check out the tap room while you're there, but I always tend to end up being outside kind of where the music and where the food is. All right, if I'm looking for really good Mexican food, there's really only one place in Northville to go. There's probably more, but I haven't made it past Los Tres Amigos. There are a couple of these around Metro Detroit, but this particular one is my favorite. And partly because it's downtown Northville, but also because of the outside patio. And I can hear the music in the square if there's a band playing there, which is lovely. But really because I love Mexican and who doesn't? Their go-to dishes here are the tacos, of course, but specifically the fish tacos are done up really well. If you're looking for a burrito, go for the burrito cochina or the mexicano. This place has a huge menu and there's definitely something for everyone. And when I say everyone, I mean there are vegetarian and vegan options as well. For Italian downtown, there are a couple of different options, but right now we're gonna cover tiramisu and that is my go-to daily driver. I want a good plate of pasta place to go. And here's what I like. They've got dishes from both Northern and Southern Italy, which means they've got the heavier, heftier dishes that go well in the winter, like a chicken parmesan or a marsala. And then they've got lighter dishes, which are great in the summer, like the calamaris and the piccatas. A couple of good fish dishes here are the perch and the salmon. They're both really nice, and I think they're both equally good. And I'm a big salmon guy, so it's saying a lot for the perch that it's actually one of the best in Metro Detroit. I'll just say it put it out there. One more add-on is a smothered steak separita. It's just really good, but it's like, it's steak and it's cheese. So you really can't mess that one. Sushi. Now, if you're a sushi lover, you gotta get out to Koji on Mary Alexander's in downtown. Now, Koji itself is a seasoning, or really a mold sport, depending on the way you look at it, that's used in the production of miso, soy, and refined sake, and has been a staple of Japanese cooking for over 2,000 years. It's really quite healthy as it helps with digestion, vitamin absorption, and breaking down nutrients. All right, so here's the lowdown on this place. I haven't had a bad roll, a sushi, or a sashimi here in all the time I've been going, but if it's your first time, you cannot leave without trying the black dragon roll or 
for the mountain roll. Most of the time when I go here, I just tell the server how many rolls I want and just have them pick it out for me. And gotta be honest, that tactic has always served me well at Koji. The Lava Grill on Main Downtown is a for sure go-to when you're craving a good Mediterranean, but really it's the best Lebanese without driving like 30 or 45 minutes to the Airborne. And really, it stacks up against all the places in the Airborne, in my humble opinion. Full disclosure, I haven't made it too far past our mixed grill because it's got a little bit of everything that I like. It's got shish tawok, shish kafka, kebab, it's got the rice, it's got the garlic, and a ton of tahini sauce. And pro tip, ask for extra tahini because you should always ask for extra tahini sauce. Always. All right, so their Kafka burger is also really good, and it makes me wonder why more burger places specifically haven't ventured into using more Lebanese-style spices with their burgers and their meats. They do a great shawarma, both as a pita sandwich and deconstructed as a plate, like a main meal style. And I've also ordered them as platters for the office. And of the four or five places we've tried, my people love this place the best. It's actually the only place that we get like a takeout lunch for the office now. Like, that's it. We just go to Lava Girl. All right, so now we're gonna get a little fancier a little bit, but not too much. All of these places, I think, really start stepping up a bit in price and ambiance and the menu, kind of all of it. All right, now let's start with one of the newer additions to the list, Toria. So the story of the name is a little complicated. I'm gonna try to get it right. I'm probably gonna mess it up. So King Edward VII had five children. Three were girls, two were boys. The middle daughter was Princess Victoria, and the nickname her family gave her was Toria. And then they took that name and they made it into the restaurant. Now let's go a little deeper. Toria opened in 2001 and is owned by North Villians Alicia and Ryan Racine, who also own Adorn Flowers and Sugar Loose Candy Shop downtown. I first discovered this place during the Halloween Festival 2021 when I was downtown, and I noticed that there was a place that had oysters. And I didn't think there was a place that had oysters in downtown Northville, but all of a sudden there were oysters. Now at this point, I think I've had everything on their menu. And reporting back, the oysters are actually really good. The drink menu is inspired. I don't say that about many places. They're fun and colorful, and most importantly, they're tasty. If you're here for small plates, or we're just not really feeling that hungry, grab their spin on the boxty, which is an Irish potato pancakes with a cream for shish. No, I butchered that. They know what the order is. They get it. They don't bring it to the table, even just butchering the name of it. Or the beef bangers, which is Ackroyd sausage with a palm puree. All right, so I'm not even gonna pretend I'm fancy. They've got a cheese and meat board called the Plowman's Board, which I've seen other people have it, and it looks delightful, but to me, it just, I mean, Anytime you see a cheese and meat board, I just see adult lunch. That's all I see. If you're feeling hungry and want something a little more substantial, grab the flat iron. The beef is sourced right here in Michigan and the asparagus is crisp, but still cooked. So it's not mushy asparagus, which is the kind that I like. I don't like mushy, I like the crisp, to be clear. Pretty quickly, this place has moved toward the top of my list and I'm now being told that my mispronounced word is creme fraiche. Lucy and the Wolf which just by the name alone is one of my tried and true go-tos for small plates and great conversation. They really nailed the decor here all the way down to the restroom doors. All right, back to the food, get the sliders. And I know a lot of places have sliders, but they're just really good here. Next up, you cannot leave without having the bruschetta. It's like, it has your traditional bread, but it's tomatoes on a skillet with melted cheese, delightful. And if two people are eating, you definitely want to round out the order with the meatballs and the spring salad. For the record, I think this is the first time I've ever said get a salad in any video but i like the idea of the apples and the goat cheese and the blackberry vinaigrette it just plays well together good job guys and that is a wrap on video number two on our best places in northville to go get some amazing food next up we're gonna wrap this out and we're gonna finalize it with our fanciest places in northville and frankly all of my favorite places actually everything on here is my favorite places that's why i'm doing the video on my favorite places to go in northville to have food my name is mike Perna, local real estate agent thank you for going with me on this journey through all of northville's restaurants and if you'd be so kind hit the like button to help this video get out through the YouTube algorithm to more people who are looking for great eats in Northville, Michigan. Thank you again, everyone, and make it a great day.